Okay guys, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Sorry guys for I have had not time to update uh, and to give you guys an update, yes. Yes, and then Bitcoin had Bitcoin has pretty much not changed at all, right? We are since uh, uh, since the 15th, yes, we are pretty much going sideways. Okay, this is a uh, bit stamp two hours, and we haven't invalidated this one, two, three, four, five. This is a uh, one. Uh, possibility I don't like to call it a possibility but it is a one possibility uh, it is likely yes uh, how much it is likely uh, what is the percentage I don't know no one knows what is the percentage of this happening it's really difficult to tell really difficult okay because now the market is full of indecision right this is green line here is marking for me I put it there to show where would be my my stop loss we are up we have almost touched it okay and this is the limit for me when we would start touching the one uh, the the region of the wave one okay and this symmetry here is not character it's not really a, uh, the symmetry of a leading diagonal so it's stretching too much the way for if we have a way for okay and don't forget I am uh, my main count my is this okay if you have been following me this is my main count okay we are now finishing this E and then we have this A B and C we would need to go down not need but we, we would need to uh, we, we we would expect it to go down here to complete this C then E then this would be an, a, a, a B wave of this higher degree to, to start this wave C to finish this X if indeed we have an X here and not the end of the correction then we would have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 1, 2, 3 then we would start this huge wave 3 Okay, in the large, really large scope, in the really large overall count, this is wave one, then two, then we'll have a wave three. Okay, so, so far we are now in, um, we're, now, we're now correcting for 23 days, nope, sorry, not 23, <laughs> 308 days, no, 311 days. So this is, we are gonna get you one year, right? Just wait for it. So, uh, and uh, what we what we would need to pay attention is that we are we are out of this trend line, this upper trend line now. So, you see this upper trend line. This is this blue trend line here. Uh, I need you it yes now we have it uh, this is the D this this region here what what this tells us we have an A we have a B B we have this throw off it's going above this trend line this blue trend line and above the yellow trend line now we are above this blue trend line here of course we don't have space Bitcoin doesn't have uh, uh, room to go above or to go down we, we are it's a squeezing it's squeezing tighter and tighter we don't have where to go Bitcoin doesn't have where to go and this is the same here at the RSI at the OBV at, at, at the whole lot of uh, indicators the same with the MACD and this is the CMF showing us that we have been above zero and now we are starting to uh, go below zero this is an indication this is one bear one hell of a bearish sign okay we would give us another low here see 
to make sense, not make sense, but to complete this E wave, then this B, if this is a B wave, okay? Remember, this is everything, this is all about probabilities, okay? Which, which is not certainties. We need to understand the fact that we are dealing with something here that is not certain and that is uh, polite guesses, okay? Uh, people don't like uh, uh, that I, I say that, but that, but if you are following some kind of a, um, some kind of a, some kind of analysis that is uh, that deems to be more certain, this. I would be. I, I. I wouldn't look at this kind of analysis with a. I would. I would look at it with a pinch of salt because, this ha, This. This, never, end up, uh, in a good spot. It, it. It. It's never a good thing. Seriously, you just go and look at the other history of investments of history of, Wall Street. You're gonna see a lot of people that was confident, was really confident back then and was confident for 10 years and then something, something happened. What happened? The uncertainty happened and they lost everything, okay? Don't forget that. Uh, I like to tell my, my friends and to tell my, my colleagues that I prefer to manage my regret, okay? What is regret management it's it's a it's a it's part of the behavioral economic theory or it's part of psychology that we what we talk about is that what would you what is the the amount of regret that you want to feel when you when you uh, when you do something okay and this amount of regret is gonna it's gonna be determinant when you are when you do something because if you don't want to experience a lot of regret after a given action, if you don't if you don't want it, don't do it. Okay, if you think that okay, I'm gonna enter along here to get this X, but if I, if it, if it goes down here, I will, I'm gonna lose everything and then I'm gonna feel a lot of regret. You're gonna be one of those people that is gonna say. Oh, I should have done that. Or if I have, if if I only had done that, I wouldn't have lost all my money. This is regret. You see, you won't be happy at all. And this is for everything in your life. People say, okay, if you don't risk, you don't. If you don't, uh, uh, there is no, there is no, uh, <clears throat> there is no win without risk. Yes, of course. But there is no regret. There is no regret if you don't enter in a place that you don't know. Remember, we all fear the unknown. And there's a lot of, uh, of storytellers out there saying that we should face the unknown. But okay, face the unknown to what, face the unknown to what extent? If you face the unknown in a... If you face the unknown in a way that you are not that you are not prepared, but you're not you're gonna regret it. What is the, the likelihood that you're gonna that you're gonna be one of the successful people that is completely lucky, by the way? That's gonna be like saying, okay, I entered, I bought Ethereum for one cent. Go figure, right? How many out there there is? How many out there? Seriously, so uh, this is what I'm do. This is what I do every day. I, re I manage my regret, the, am the amount of regret I'm not gonna feel in the future. Okay, this is uh, uh, this is my way of training. Okay, this is my way of training. <clears throat> so uh, I am counting of this this movement here now, but I'm gonna of course stop my loss. If this if this breaks again this line here, okay. If this goes above, uh, I don't know, six five hundred with confidence, and perhaps we touch this fifty percent line again. Remember, this fifty percent line 
this yellow, uh, sorry, white line here, 6700 would be my stop loss, my strong resistance. Okay. <clears throat> we close the weekly above this blue line here. Remember, this blue line here, this train line here has been a strong resistance. But we closed here uh, the previous week. Uh, we closed, we, we, we breached it, we broke in this resistance, but then we recovered from it. So we are now above it. When we are now forming this dodgy, but actually we don't know what is it, right? What, what is it? We don't know. We need to close the week. <clears throat> we have tried to go above it and rejection, right? 13 EMA and the 8 EMA. The picture doesn't look really well, remember. The, the, the picture doesn't look really positive or bullish at all. Even especially, sorry, if we look at the weekly, because we have this tentative bearish cross. It's, it's here, guys. This is the data that we have. We have a bearish cross. That's why, of course, this is, that's not why, but this is one piece of, of evidence, one more piece of evidence telling us that this is the, the, why we are in such an indecision. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> again, back to my two hours chart. So what should we do? What should we do is such a strong word, right? I, I, I'm, I don't know what we should do. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is, I, I am, of course, giving you guys here a different count. If it, this is a one, two, three, four, five emotive impulse wave, then we would need to have a, another high here, another local high, at least 7K. Remember, I'm disregarding the price action on Bitfinex. Okay, I know that we got to a higher high on Bitfinex, but I'm I'm not gonna consider it here. So imagine that we have a <clears throat> uh, not a here. This would be a then B then C. Is that so? No, I don't, I don't think so. Let me just no. A would be back there. Yeah. A would be here. Pardon me, guys. A would be here, right at the end of the A, then B. B might be going on as well, right? This might be A, B, C to finish B here. It's too soon to, to tell, right? <clears throat> then would we have, but we would have a C here, okay? Then we would need to. Of course, uh, this is my main main count, my primary count. A, B, this would mark the B here, this high here, trying again to break this 50% and failing and going down. Then we would have a, no, a new low here, okay? Perhaps a running flat. Why a running flat? Because this is an A. This is an A. This is a B. B is going beyond the level of the beginning of wave A, so this is a flat, and then we would have a running flat here, which is when we when the wave C fails to go below or above the level of wave A, of the end of a, a, wave A. Okay, in this case we would fail. It, it's really likely, by the way, and we would go up. Okay. So we have two, we have plenty of uh, possibilities, but what is likely, in my opinion, is that we, 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 are, our, we are either going up and breaking this 50% resistance here, that we fail to do so three times now, or we are going down. It's more likely that we are going down, by the way, that we are going to go, uh, that we are going to go back to the, <clears throat> pardon me. And we're gonna go back to this triangle here, to this uh, area here that we are, that we have been for the past, <laughs> for the past, I don't know, five, five months or more. Then we're gonna do something like this, three, four, f I don't know. Okay, something like this. Perhaps going really like 
6k okay this is one of the this would be a one two then we wouldn't have a three actually i'm sorry let me this would be our one two then we would have a three four five then we would have a C, then we would need to go up. Then the place, the, 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 then the bears would be happy, okay? The people that sold here at the 50%, I don't think that they're gonna get there. They're gonna get their uh, target here because it's, it would be the double bottom here. Not yet, but we might go to this double bottom here. It's possible. But it would, I, I don't know if, it, if we are going to have a lot of market in, interest to go here now. Or if we need to go and, and have another, another high here in order to have more strength, more selling pressure to go really down. We have targets. Of course, we did, indeed we have a lot of targets down here. A lot. Remember this chart, of course. This chart is, is on Beat Phoenix. So I'm sorry, uh, I need to do one tar one chart like this one. But just disregard that it's, in, it's on BitPhoenix, disregard this huge price action here. But we are within this 50% and 50%. We are, this is a really good chart. Um, see what's happening here, guys. Since the past days, I don't know we have we touched this 50 percent we are now within this 50 percent here and this 50 percent remember if you have if you don't know what i'm talking about go back one go back to last week i think or the previous one and i have done this this is the pivot high and the pivot from the swinging from the pivot high to pivot low pivot high to pivot low pivot high to pivot low I'll informing the 50% and the algo targets here down below. Oh, it's not showing the number. It's only when I click it. Strange, huh? Thanks, Trading View. For some reason. So we have all those bottoms here, all those algo targets here, but none of them have yet been touched. Okay. Oh, I don't I can't use this. So it's a huge question mark, of course. What's gonna happen? I'm waiting. I'm not gonna enter. Especially when we have such a squeeze like this, I would prefer to enter after a breakout because if it goes, if, if, if it goes up, you're gonna have time to enter. If it breaks this 50% with confidence, I don't think you're gonna have another week such a such as this one here that we had i don't know i don't think we're gonna have but who am i to say <laughs> whether something's gonna happen or not no one knows that we need to be prepared so this is the daily and if it breaks above 50 percent it's likely that's gonna go above and test and another support then other resistance sorry the other resistance that would be 7500 okay but it's the same is valid for the bottom line here if we go to 6100 and we break above it hmm, it's gonna be difficult to hold 6k and to have this wave c here really hmm. and then perhaps i'm gonna have a c wave and or perhaps i'm gonna need to to disregard this count here and recount everything that's that's the thing okay that's what i need that that's what we have here okay this a b c so then we have a, this a b c to finish this x who knows right we, we might have a b here that goes beyond the level of the beginning of this a remember if this is a running flat it's possible okay this wouldn't be a triangle actually but based on the symmetry Based on the symmetry that we have here, I think that we're gonna break up. But 
based on the price action and this sideways movement here, I think that we need to go one leg down, but doesn't mean that we're gonna break down. It means that you're gonna have another price here, 6100, 6K, uh, 6K one week below, and then we're gonna start going up. Okay, that's my, 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 my way of reading the chart, okay? Because we have this A, B, C, D, E, then we have this E here down. When we have the E here uh, at the bottom, the E as the last price action uh, at the bottom of the triangle, it's, it's when we have a, a pressure to go up. Okay, this is the Elliott Wave principle, not me saying. <laughs> so, a lot of indecision again. And yes, we have the scenario. We have the scenario of a one, two, three, four. We, we might have this four is not invalid. So far as I can tell, it's, we might have this five, this five waves and then we would disregard this ABC or we might have a one, two, three, four, five and put a C here. Just like I'm saying here, C wave, then we would finish this E, B and it would go up, we, go up, we would go up. Whether this is a C or an X, only time is gonna tell us. If this is a, an X wave, what would means what would entails is that we would need to go down really we would fail to break this 50 percent here we would fail to to go above this 50 percent which is this 50 percent of the whole movement of the whole impulse movement this movement here and then we would fail and we would go down again finally uh, fulfilling some of those uh, algo targets here but are we gonna have enough uh, market interest to go down once we get to 10K, for instance, or 90, 90 to 300? Are we gonna really have a market sentiment going down? Uh, I don't know, seriously, and no one knows. If, if this, is, um, this is a hypothesis, that's why I'm, because I re I'm really bearish for the next, I don't know, one year. I'm bearish, I'm still bearish. I think that I, it's better to be a bear in a bull market. <laughs> that I have been telling this for a long time now. It's really, it's way better to be a bear in a bull market than the other way around. If you are a bull in a bear market, the only way, the, the, the only thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna lose everything. Okay, just think about it. So I am still waiting for this 3K, perhaps, I don't know, 4K, but I really, that this is strong here, 5200 is one of the, the targets that the market is waiting. All the confluences here, okay? A strong support here, I know. To get below 6K is gonna be really tough. That's why we have all this indecision. The market is not really going anywhere okay so um guys that's it for today i'm sorry for <laughs> i'm sorry that I, I i have been talking about things that are not really directly connected to bitcoin but but it's important for us all to reflect about things that are about markets about trading itself okay so thanks for watching, thanks for for being waiting for me, <laughs> for be watching and uh, and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. <laughs> and join us in our Discord server, Crypto Trader Educational Institute. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. It's uh, I always try to keep you guys updated there. Okay? Thank you again very much, very much, and I see you guys next one. Cheers.